was in this exact matchup, him and Castle. I will see it again, too. Yeah, Raiden Solo continues to impress as Dalton Castle dumbfounded with that result. Wait for those bull scores. You want to say it or you want me? Go ahead, buddy. 47 and a half. And worth it, too. You look at what this bull's doing. I mean, he is jumping however many feet in the air right there and then just snapping out with those back feet. Castle's bearing down with everything he's got. That's what it takes to show off a great bull like this. That's just awesome right there. Well, if bulls can feel nervousness, Wupa may have just shuddered with some trepidation as Raiden Solo brings it. Now it's Claudio Montagna Jr. That ability comes to life. He's going to get the eight seconds, and he gets tossed around like a rag doll. But that was the second time they have met, and that's the payback Jose was hoping for. And that's what you expect every single time Jose nods his head uh, on a bull that doesn't get rode by anybody, and he steps up and hits a home run right here. 94 and three quarters. Yeah, this is a great ride. This bull has a great day. Uh, up and down, around to the left, throws a roll right here, and he just never gives up and gets it done. Rider score of 48 and a half. Bull score of 46 and a quarter. J-Dub, right, go and now talk about how well Ryden Solo did. Well, first, let's send it down to Kate. Jose, what a ride, exactly what you said you thought was going to happen. What was it about this out that you were able to hear the whistle this time? Well, riding solo, he always but good with me. So I don't know, I think he liked me and uh, we make a good ride this tonight. And I'm just so happy to another night of my career and just so blessed. The man that takes care of riding solo, Cord McCoy, he lived it as a rider. Now he lives it as a stock contractor. Katie's with you. <laughs> and he is standing right next to his number one bull right now in solo. He looks ready. I know there's a lot of pressure. Is he ready for this moment? I think so. You know, we feel like we've built up and we've grind. We've been through every blizzard and desert all year. But uh, Solo's feeling good this morning. The guys unloaded him, said, uh, you know, he, he was feeling froggy. He was trying to crawl under and crawl over the fences. And I think uh, that's when he has his best days. So we're excited. Uh, Solo reached in there and draw deep today. So we're going we're gonna to decide who the world champion is today. He's going to match up with Joao Ricardo Vieira. How do you anticipate this going? Is this the kind of rider that he could get that big score? Well, I mean, he is arguably the, the best bull rider in the world to the left. Uh, and that's where Solo, you know, kind of gets his kicks. He usually starts there to the left. I think it's going to be an awesome matchup. And, uh, you know, in, in the last world title races, we, we've seen, uh, you know, some of the biggest scores comes on the even ride eight seconds. So we're, we're excited. We draw it in there deep. It's world finals day. Uh, we're going to find out in about eight seconds who the world champion is. This is a family affair for the McCoy Ranch. Your daughter Tulsa loves this bull. They rub up on him every day when you're at home. How much does he mean to this family and what he's done? Oh, no, it, it, it's awesome. And, uh, you know, you talk to the other handlers of, of Bushwhacker and Bruiser and those and the opportunities that those bulls have brought and the doors that they've opened. And Solo's that bull for us. And all of that, like you're talking about, uh, you know, my family loves this bull. Sarah and Tulsa, you know, giving him bads this week between, uh, you know, the second perf and, and now. So, uh, you know, we, we love him. Win, lose, or draw, you know, he's our champion. He sure has been fun to watch. Good luck coming up and good luck, Solo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Craig. It's great to see that emotion right on Cord McCoy's face. And one final chance for Joao to make a statement. When we watch this in slow motion, make sure you don't turn away from the television. I can't Not believe this. One, Craig. but two direct shots, and Joao's just standing up. Let's talk about riding solo first. It's another 47. Great out from the Bulls. Yes. And the Bulls are never out to harm the Cowboys. But there's the first one. Unbelievable. And here comes another one. This 
You don't see something like this anywhere else and see a guy get up and just walk it off. Hey, he's not going to be this year's world champion, but he should win world's toughest man. No doubt about after that out. Unbelievable, this guy. Was, I believe, 45 even in round number two. These Bulls get three outs here. Zeke can only hold on for 3.35, but once again, Mac, that was not riding Solo's top shelf stuff. I, I felt like it was better than his first out. Um, and they 45'd him there. No, I don't oh, think so. Oh, shoot. You are more than right, my friend. 47 points. I didn't think it was going to get to there. Wow. Uh, I thought it was a better out. I didn't know it was going to be a 47 point out, though. Well, if Bulls can feel pressure, Wupa just felt a seismic ripple as Ryden Solos sent a message right there. That's pretty juicy right there, though. You look at him come up in the front end and then follow it up with huge kick. Those snapshots, man, leaving them with those snapshots. That's a great trip for that. Bull. And Taylor has now firsthand experience as to what that can be like under four seconds on the buck. Off. Yeah, I'm waiting for these scores to come in because I feel like they should be big. That, that was an outstanding effort from that little boy. He's had everything that, that you could ask for one to do. And they're pretty big, Craig. Yeah, 46. <laughs> that's, that's, good. that's world championship caliber. That puts you in the hunt for it. outs like that. Able to now tie Wupa in terms of that season average, which is fantastic. Mason Taylor wishes he could redo that. Cody Jesus has got a lot of skills. Yeah, it's a great matchup. Ryden Solo did a darn good job there, out cleanly, which you know Cord McCoy watching at home might have been worried about. The ride ends at 5.5, and he gets ever so close, 46 and a quarter for Solo. And he was needing 46 and a half? Is that, is that what it was? Because don't make me start doing math here. <laughs> I'm going to leave I'm, that to you, or I'm going to call no. JW. I was going to say, yeah, let's call J-Dub. What do you say? It doesn't move the needle because he absolutely needed 46 and a half to drop that low score. But, Coop, that was a great out for the Bull. Yeah, you can't take away from that little Bull right there. He's a long ways from home. And, and uh, you know, that little Bull is super special, around the left. And he felt Cody over there in, in a good position, smart enough Bull to switch it up and go back to the right. Uh, regardless of the score, Court's got to be happy with that. My favorite to get on. Oh. Red flags coming. I was going to say, my reaction is yours was too, was based on that contact as Ryden Solo left the shoots. Jesse, I want to go down to you. Do you see flags? Here we got one out, Craig. He's got a rerun. Okay, well. Again, Dub, as you critique this, throw your contractor hat on again. That's just a sickening feeling, isn't it, when it's a re-ride? Well, yeah, and I'm going to speak for Cord McCoy. He doesn't mind it being a re-ride. He's here trying to chase that world championship, and a 46-point bull score is going, to, is going to do it for him. Well, what I mean, I'm unclear on the rule. If it is a re-ride opportunity, does the bull score count? I, well, I believe it does. Um, they scored him. It's come up on the board. They've marked him 46 points. All right. He said, but who doesn't want to at one point match up with Ryan Solo, who's everything he'd want in a bowl? He made the eight seconds, and you want to take another look at Kyler Oliver's wild ride? Ryden Solo looked like he could reach the ceiling. Just the sheer the grit and determination at the end when he's bucked off, but he wouldn't let go and he gets a score. And that's just a note back to those guys behind the shoots. Look at the try. This is so much better than taking a zero. 
Man, that's effort, and I love that. I like your math. I just, 90 and three quarters, yes, J.W. Hart, better, is better than a zero. But there's no checking out, and that's what it is. If you watch the, well, here we go. Solo fired, but Frost brought the freeze. Eight seconds of fantastic performance brought to you by the bull that's trying to win a world championship and the man that's trying to win a world finals. Dickies Arena got what they paid for, 92 and three quarters. Well, look, this is, this is just great bull riding from Josh Frost. He couldn't have ridden this bull any better. 47 and three quarters for Frost. But let's talk about Solo, 45. I don't think that's going to be any help for him to win the bull title. But I, I just want to keep bragging on that guy right there because that was a great bull ride. Let's send it down to Kate. You just tackled a powerhouse. What is that like on this stage? Oh, it's amazing. That bull is the most incredible athlete you've ever seen. I mean, you can feel it in the shoot. He's like a time bomb waiting to explode. And it was just a first jump. It got pretty – started happening quick. And from there, it was just all reaction. And I knew that direction change was coming, and we gathered him up pretty good. Describe that moment for you, the energy in here. You take that helmet off, flip the hair. What's running through your mind? Oh, it's – there's no better place in the world to get on the rankest bulls, compete against the best guys in the world, and be 92-plus points. Congratulations. Thank you. Craig. Another great family affair that makes things happen along with Bill McCarty and that great buck and bull riding solo that has brought us so many memories this year. All right, Corn, slide on over because we've got a big check. We've got a gold buckle for you. There were some moments in this season where Cord had to make some very difficult decisions. You uh, made the decision towards the end of the season to put this bull back on the truck, chase that year-end title, and then ultimately put a few extra miles on him. But it all paid off. This bull showed what an incredible heart he has. Oh, it, it's been a wild ride. I mean, it's, it's easy to sit there and uh, watch the PBR on CBS Sports, but riding solo made all the miles this year. He put in the work. You know, we start in India and New York. Uh, you know, we go through blizzards and deserts and everything else. And, uh, you know, when Billings was the last one on the event uh, list, I owed it to him. I owed him the shot to win this world title. Uh, and him to make the, the trip to Billings and have another snowstorm and come to 100-degree weather and heat, buck like he did, he, he deserves this. And uh, riding solo is the athlete, and I, get, I give it to him. I, I want to congratulate Solo. Well, we want to congratulate him and you and your family as well. Peyton Reinhardt again joining us from Yeti, Cali Adams, Jim Thorpe from Montana Silversmith to officially present the buckles. Again, a big thank you to Crystal Relford from Monster Energy. So many folks helping to make all of these moments so special. Scott, the Yeti world champion bucking bull is riding solo. Sounds pretty good to Cord McCoy and his family. Sounds good to the rest of the world as well. Congratulations, Cord, and congratulations to riding solo.